Yo, what is good, guys? We're back with the quarry. Let's get it. I mean, you never know. The universe has a kind of way of uh, uh, working these things out. The universe? Yeah, like the uh, the cosmic space gods. Space gods. You heard me? Okay, spell it. It's nothing to spell. You know, we're cool. Oh, so cool. We are super cool. I'm going to take this as a recap from last time. So she dumped her ass, huh? Hi, Emma. Hey. <laughs> Hold on, I'm okay, Justin. I'm Justin. Is, um, I'm Justin. You've heard of spatial awareness before, yeah. right? Spatial awareness is for nerds. Uh, be the lamb and grab the last couple of bags, will you? Yes, boss. Say hi to Emma for me. You're a bad person. Yes, I am. Okay. Jake. Bags, focus. I'm getting the bags. Am I? <laughs> Jacob, go upstairs. Jacob, get bag. Caitlin moves on with her goddamn life. Yo, what if I just keep? <sighs> Jacob, go upstairs. Jacob, oh. get bag. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Hi. Hey, are you guys gonna help with the bags or what? Oh, um, you know, I was actually just working on fixing uh, the door. It's Dylan, come it's on. broken. Dylan, please. I can't. It's, it's, I got to get the last bags what's in there. Come wrong on. with this thing? It's just Dylan, please. Sorry, bro. <sighs> cool. Well, Thanks, guys. The heads. Gil. Ugh. Horror. I hate horror. Talk to him. Spit you gangster. Okay, really, dude? Locking me out? Okay, in my defense, A, it was Dylan's idea, and two, it was really funny. Oh, yeah, right. Is that is that right? I don't write the rules, man. Okay, whatever. Look, are you gonna help me with the bags or what? Nah, I gotta stay here and wait for Mr. H to return our cell phone. Sorry. Jesus Christ. Okay, and why are the stairs blocked? Well, apparently it's to keep raccoons and other pesky varmints from ransacking the place. Uh, Mr. H's words, not mine. Oh! Boring! <laughs> okay, so... Can't go up there. Is that you, Dylan? I can only deal with one shit at a time, Jacob. This place needs a serious overhaul. Ooh. Oh. Jesus. The hell is that noise? <sighs> All right. Got the bags. Great. All by yourself, huh? Yep. Guess you're gonna have to get used to that. Oh my god. You are so mean. <laughs> At least I'm honest. Oh. Okay, here we go. Okay, you're not telling me the whole truth about you and Emma, are you, son? Uh, mind your own business. Oh, okay, so now I'm the one who's not telling the whole story, huh? <laughs> oh, well, this is the bait I just gotta take, Jake. Oh, oh sorry, I just got so distracted about that rhyme, I forgot what we oh, were... Oh, no, 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 uh, you, you were telling me how you... Totally have a thing for Ryan. Wait, are we talking about Ryan, the sailing instructor with the sexy brooding loner thing that totally doesn't do anything for me at all? <laughs> uh. I don't know who Ryan is. Um. Uh. Just knew it. <laughs> Who said I was hiding that? I'm not. I'm just saying, you know, I feel like if you really did like the guy, you would have made a move by now. <laughs> so she really just dumped her ass, huh? I don't... Okay. Her whole thing is like, how are we going to make this work? Different schools, blah, blah, blah. My whole thing is like, you know, 
maybe long distance, blah, 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 blah. And she was just like, Jacob. She gave you the look, huh? Yeah, do not pass go. Man, she just got you wrapped all the way around that dainty little finger of hers. How does she do it? Uh, read it. No, oh, but I mean, seriously, come on, she's right. It's just like a stupid summer fling. What else did I think was going to happen? Uh, let's see. Uh, love, stability, engagement, marriage, house, kid, affair, kid, divorce, loneliness, child support, visitation lawsuit, mm. surprise reconciliation, emptiness, retirement, grandkid, 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 a nursing home, and finally, dying in each other's arms and then being buried in each other's arms uh, like those thousand-year-old skeletons they dug up in Rome or something. That kind of in the ballpark? Oh, I'm sorry. That was Ryan and me. Uh, let me see. Ah, here it is. Yours just says Roadhead. Oh, actually, that's just a generic all-men list. Well, that seems legit. <laughs> Okay, so are we sure that this old rust bucket's roadworthy? Okay. We'll take a look. It better be. One more night in the great outdoors might actually kill me. Hey, what doesn't kill you will make you stronger. Well, I haven't killed you yet. And you're still pretty pathetic. Hey, shut up. <laughs> uh, okay, so, um... Total hypothetical, but if I was, like, a huge asshole and I wanted to break down the van so we'd have to spend another night here, uh, what exactly would I need to do? Well, you'd probably break the fuel line or, I don't know, rip out the rotor arm. And yes, that would make you a total asshole. Okay, and what does a rotor arm look like again? It's like an arm that's all rotary. You know, it's under the little black dome with the leads poking out. Yeah, what is he doing? Jake. You do realize that even if we somehow did get stuck out here, one more night with Emma wouldn't make a difference. Trust me, Chick's made up her mind. Yeah. Sure. He's gonna rip it out. To find out. <sighs> Break fuel line. Oh. Well, I don't have a choice. Brake fuel line or steel motor arm or road car arm. Hmm. Which one do I want to do? Oh, let's just break the fuel line. Oh, this looks important. Yo, this is I will hook you right back up tomorrow. Okay. Pinky promise. Yeah, the car ain't gonna have gas. You're just gonna have this stuff leaking. Up here, my dudes. Why did they look like they're up to something? <laughs> hey, Jacob. What? No, dude, please. D don't, don't. Oh, oh, action, yeah. action. Hold up. Got it. Got it. Boom. Oh, oh. there it is. Oh, Ooh. man. Good sight. Ooh. Freak. Yo, what the oh. hell? Oh. Ooh, I wish I had some singles. Oh. Freaks. I'm surrounded by freaks. <clears throat> Oh, thank God. Oh, weird. I'm going to get the whole no technology thing, but take me back, world. You would have thought Mr. H could have, like, charged up our phones, like, a little bit. Nothing's ever your fault, is it? <laughs> you know, you should really just save it for emergencies only. <laughs> Unless, of course, is being dumped an emergency? Ha <laughs> <laughs> Ben. <laughs> Yo, these people. Annoyed. Nah, nah. Uh, okay, well, at least I had a relationship this summer. Ooh, damn, now we burn. Yeah, well, maybe not everyone is looking for a hookup. Okay, 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 let's all put our little dicks away and get this show on the road, huh? Where's everybody else? Why, why would I know that? Mm -hmm. Sometimes you know stuff I don't. Look, I don't, I don't even know how to respond to that. <laughs> you say, Nick, you're way smarter than me, and you're a super hot stud who gets any chick he wants. Okay, yeah, keep German Junior. That check some. Hold on, hold on. <clears throat> hey there, party bear. Status report? We are officially empty nesters. High five up top. Oh, uh. Yo, let the mess that up. Oh boy. You're about to get your phone back, aren't you? Let's go collect our bags and away from this mosquito infested backwoods dump.
Doors locked, bags inside. <sighs> Me. Yep. Well, it's obvious what we have to do here. Find someone with a key? Shape our destiny. And by shape our destiny, huh? I mean shape our way through this crappy lock and grab our bags. Uh, I'm breaking in, I guess. Okay, let's do it. We better not get into trouble. I won't tell if you won't tell. Mr. Hackett's gonna find out. So what? He'll just think it was a bear or something. Have you ever seen a bear in these woods? No, but that doesn't mean they're not out there. Mm -hmm. Fair point. That is true. All right, let's do this. On three. One. Two. Three! Yo, especially uh, the freaking monster, uh, that monster thing I saw in that basement all that one about the power of positive thinking. Why do I ever listen to you? Because I'm always right. Are you sure they're gonna think it was a bear? Oh, my God, relax. It's not like we killed someone. <laughs> all right, well, I'm just gonna take another look around, make sure we didn't miss anything. Go nuts! Rabies. That poster just said rabies, yo. Aw. This was little Izzy's. I don't know who that is. I wanna play a game! <laughs> the hell? Am I? I don't mess around with some dolls, I ain't gonna lie to you. I don't mess around with yeah. all that. You can probably just stay here, you creepy little thing. Yeah. Path updated. That that just updated my path? What? Why would this place be in the news? It's gonna be weird not waking up to Dylan's morning announcements. Ready to roll? Let's do it! Finally! Time to let loose and vamoose this caboose. How are you so dramatic? Stupid. Annoying. Confident. It's just acting. It's what the people want. So you're faking it? I mean, in a way, faking it is just being yourself, but louder. You should try it sometime. You never know who you might impress. No. <laughs> it's too late now anyway. For what? You and Nick? You never know unless you put yourself out there. Is. <gasps> whoa, oh. whoa, whoa! Oh. <gasps> nice steering, Tex. Jinkies. Okay, so hypothetically, if I were to put myself out there, what if he ends up being a dud? Kind of like you and Jacob. He's actually really sweet. Then why'd you quit it? Summer fling. We're going to school like four states away. I, he gets it. Yeah, sure. But that's us. You and Nick oh. could be different. Why don't you get his handle? Hit him up. Oh, I already have his email. It was in the packet they gave to us on the first day. Email? Are you 93? What's wrong with email? What's wrong with it? I'm really gonna miss you, Abby. Oh, but the lodge is that way. Go right here. Why? Come on, scenic route? One last victory lap around the camp? Scenic route? I mean, I, I guess. Ain't nothing gonna happen. Yes. Sure, what's the victory? Two months, no technology. I kind of thought it was nice to be offline. Ugh, I didn't. Plus, my subs need me. Bro. Yo, bro's a YouTuber. Supportive. Castic. Oh, how'd they even get by for two months without you? I will have you know that I have a very loyal and engaged subscriber base. I provide very important and educational lifestyle advice in the form of entertaining and hilarious video monologues. Oh yeah, I doubt they will. They rely doubt on me. Oh, doubt totally. That. You're a big deal. Uh, Don't know. Yeah. Doubt that. I mean, I'm, I'm sure they're gonna be like really happy or rock. <laughs> yeah. 
My favorite spot? The fire pit? <laughs> the island. Mad secluded, right? Is... Is that smoke? Should we tell someone? Mm, it looks pretty contained. It's probably just Mr. H burning some stuff before, you know, he closes camp for the summer. Yeah. Speaking of which, we should... We should probably... Yeah, you know, get back. Oh, yeah. Worried Nick's, you know, gonna leave without you? Well, no, they're probably, like, all waiting for us. Mm-hmm. Everyone's waiting for us. Everyone, yeah. Nick, waiting for you. All, everyone, see ya. Okay. Yeah, who's watching? Bro, got some good vision. I'm going to close this tab, I swear. Don't worry, Jacob. I got you. I got a full tank of gas, so... Oh, f <laughs> <laughs> Oh, idiot. <laughs> Does nobody own phone chargers anymore? It, there's no signal out here anyways, dude, okay? This place is like patchy as balls. <sighs> Your balls are patchy? What? No! <laughs> it's okay. I'll just go get some juice from Mr. H before... We go and uh you <sighs> Hey Nick Hey, where were you guys? <gasps> Wouldn't you like to know? Ignore her, please. Let's go. Just gotta get these bags up on to the Oh hey, hey, here. Let me um let me get it for you. I can Take care of my own bag, thank you. What? Are you sure? Because, I mean, it's really not that big of a deal. She can take care of her Chill, own bro. bag, thank you. Chill, we can bro. both take care of our own bag. Thank you. Chill, bro. Yo. Yeah, that's kind of cool. ignorant, though. I ain't gonna lie to you. It's kind of rude. Ugh. Like, how she acting, and, like, I ain't gonna lie to you. Not. Nah. Nah. Do it, do it, do it. Uh, uh, Abby, do you need... Yeah. Can I... Thank you. <laughs> you just set it down for me. <laughs> hey, has anyone seen Ryan? Oh, yeah, he's probably off being oh. all brooding and mysterious and alluring somewhere. <laughs> I'm here. What were you doing under there? Having a little me party? Uh, I was listening to a podcast, actually. Bruh. Oh, podcast. Nice. That's cool. What's it about? Uh, my own business. <laughs> uh, protective is about me. My new business is about me. Uh, be friendly. Be friendly. Yeah, what's it about? Is it about me? <laughs> you think I was listening to a podcast about you? Okay, if anyone here had a podcast about them, it'd be me. Yeah, if there was a podcast called How to Look and Smell Like a Butt. Oh my god, you are so childish. At least I don't look and smell like a butt. <laughs> no, it's a... It's a... Paranormal podcast. This episode was actually about this place, weirdly enough. The Hag of Hackett's Quarry. The who of the what's it where now? What's the Hag of Hackett's Quarry? You don't know about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Uh, if I did, would I be asking them The old hag. Tell her about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. I don't think she wants to know about the Hag of Hackett's uh, Quarry. Oh, can we just please stop saying... I gotta get my phone real quick. I'm gonna let this resume. The Hag of Hackett's Quarry? It's just this campfire story for the kids. It's, um, there's supposedly an old woman who died in a fire a few years back. She haunts the woods looking for her lost baby boy. There are like reports of whispers or whatever, and then this figure that floats around, you know, textbook ghost stuff. And some people say that if she catches you alone, She'll try to turn you into her son. What? Or kill you. Or something. I don't know. It's what? never really been clear. Anyways, Haga Haggit's Corey. You made that up. It's right here in the podcast, man. 
cool story, bro. <laughs> yo, uh, yo, that old late, old granny ass on the forest on the pro protologue. Just seen uh, better than yours. But all that. Seriously though, you should have seen the first time you told the story to the kids at the campfire. They were scarred for life. I mean, not for life. <laughs> You gotta be careful with this stuff, man. That's true. Come on, dude, bullshit. Yeah. What's the holdup, Hacketeers? Yeah, uh, nearly done, Mr. H. Hop to it. Get those butts in gear. <laughs> Sorry, Mr. H. You had to liberate some luggage. Shut up. Maybe if somebody didn't spend so much time trying to press the ladies with all his ghost stories. You asked. Ghost stories? The Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Oh! <sighs> hey, you still have the van key, Mr. H? Well, yes, I do. What's not no. the van going right? I'd lose my head if it wasn't stuck on. Back to the office I go. Give me a hand, would you, Ryan? Oh, okay. Yo, Mr. H. What's up, DJ Dylan? Any chance I could get a little charge? I want to have some uh, tunes for the road. No can do. Why not? Not be rude. Cool, cool, yeah. No worries. Good man. Uh, no big deal. You can share my earbuds. N never mind. I ain't gonna say it, dude. I ain't gonna say it. I'm not gonna say it. I'll just keep my mouth closed, bro. I ain't gonna say nothing. So, uh, Chris, I I'm actually glad we got a moment to talk. Uh, uh oh. I'm not fired, am I? <laughs> no, it's, um, it's just, you know, about the whole thing w with the. Hold that thought, partner. I'm gonna have to take this. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, sorry. Hello. This is your pot. I mean, if this was me, I'd, I'd for sure eavesdrop. What? The kids, the kids. Don't be so much, you bro. They're almost out of here, all right? You're cutting it pretty close. We don't want to have... Just hold your damn horses, all right? Everything's A-OK -okay on this end. Bobby and I are geared up. If he's in the area, we'll get him. This is a waste of time. Huh? I know it, I know it. <clears throat> no, should I have? He's gone quiet. Probably staying out of the way. Speaking of which, the longer you keep me on this damn phone, the longer it's gonna take me to get rid of these damn kids. Yeah. Of course. Adios. Bobby is geared up. That's the only thing I got out of that. Sorry, I, I wasn't... I wasn't listening. I, I was just, like, waiting. Like, I mean, I heard... I, I mean, I, was, I didn't hear what you were... Saying. We're cool, champ. Just come on in. Sorry I pushed you out like that. Yo, I was caught eavesdropping. You, uh, you need a hand? With you? Looking for the keys? Uh, no, end of summer, busy, busy. You know. Anyway, you were asking me. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. It was just the whole animation school thing. What you thought I should do? Right. Y you know, listen, whether or not I should like leave my sister with my grandparents since I'd have to live on campus. You know, and my mom's not exactly around, so I wouldn't want to leave Sarah on her own. You know, fam our family's small enough as it is. Well, family is important, Ryan. Dang it. <laughs> is everything okay? <clears throat> you got a hot day tonight? Oh boy. Dude. If you only knew. <laughs> So, uh, what, what did you need me for? You're one of my favorite counselors, Ryan. You know that. One of the good ones. But 
Do you know how many calls I get from parents, letter after letter, with these terrified kids that they send home? Huh. I, I, I didn't realize that. Believe it or not, scaring kids away from sleepaway camp is kind of bad for business. So maybe just ease up on the ghost stories? Well, they true. But sorry, I didn't realize it was such a big deal. Gotta understand the repercussions of your actions, Buster. It's a big part of being a counselor, a leader. Yeah. Just stick to kumbaya next time, okay? <laughs> What's Bruh. that? You guys don't do kumbaya anymore? Bruh. Good grief. I'm outgrowing my own cliches. I know what that is. What? Seriously, Chris, what's going on? How old are they I just want to get you guys safely out of Dodge before the sun goes down. Yo, he knows something. Yeah, he knows something. Totally. No yeah. Best to get you all out of harm's way. Woods are chock full of live game and local hunters hop to it the second camp's over. It's not safe. Hmm. Where in the good goddamn are they? Why are you looking in the same place, same place like ten times, dude? Like, maybe move stuff around or something? Like, what do you know? Will you say goodbye to Caleb and Kaylee for me? They sort of just snuck off. Well, you'll see him again next year. Caleb works at the scrapyard during the off-season, and Kaylee, well, she's still figuring out what she wants to do. She's got her whole life ahead of her. They both just come and go as they please, really. Teenagers, am I right? Actually, could have used the help packing up since we were short-staffed. Hey, you guys seem to manage all right. But I'll tell them both you were sad you missed them. Unlocked the van, put the keys in my pocket, came in the office. Right where I left them. Uh -huh. Let's skedaddle. I mean, sometimes I'd be looking over like 10 times, I don't see the thing that's like right in front of my face. So, like, you know, that's pretty understandable. Bro, I do that so much. Make sure they're all ready to go. For real this time. Especially if the object is like blended in and has the same color as like, as it's like on the surface, like. Wait, how did you get your phone back before the rest of us? I never turned it in. You sure to turned it off before you handed it in, Dylan. Them's the rules, you noob. <laughs> man said noob, yo. <laughs> I try not to dwell on the past, man. Good, because it's time to dwell in the minivan. Get on with our respective lives. Move it, let's go. What's the problem? Oh, dude, I don't know. I, I think there's something wrong with the engine, Mr. H. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, dude, it's just like kaput. All right, let me try. What, dude, I'm telling you, all right? It's busted. Well, maybe you're doing Go, it wrong. Well, maybe you're doing it wrong. The fuck, dude? Enough. Enough, both of you. Even Shit. when I did it. Come on, right, come on. Chill. Chill, Let's dude. He didn't put... Hold Everybody back. Now, now, now. <clears throat> Jacob, wait. Wait, wait, wait. wait. I got Ooh. this. Oh yeah, that car is done though. It's done though. Uh. Ow, geez, dude, I was trying to help. Shouldn't I have not done that. Okay. Okay. Uh, well, uh, look, it's not that big of a deal. Okay, we'll just spend one more night here. No, no, just stop. Let me think. Damn, yo. It's all his fault. It's all his fault. Not his fault. Not his fault. It's it's the do with that. It's his fault. Okay. All his. Damn it. You're right. You're right. Yeah. What? Yeah, you're right. Hey. 
Hey, Brian. Come here for a sec. It's all his fault, bro. If he, if he wasn't so, like, by his so-called fling, like, you know what I mean? Like, Make sure that everybody is inside the lodge for tonight. Lock the doors. No one in, no one out. No one. Got it? Okay. I'll be back first thing in the morning, and we'll get you all on the road. You just have to keep everyone inside. Can you promise me you'll do that? They ain't gonna listen to me. I'm just one person. Yeah. Sure. We'll, we'll stay inside. And a boy. Lock the doors. And for God's sake, keep the noise down! So, what was that about? He, uh, said to stay inside, that we're not leaving until the morning. Are you kidding me? Am. Are you kidding me? What are we supposed to do? Well, we should go inside, like he we'll said. Go watch the movie. We Jones. could go inside until morning. Yeah. Or, or we could do something else. No, no. No. Follow Chris instruction. Wait, who's Chris? I'm not curious, no insistent. No, 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 no. We should really listen to what Chris told us to do. Of course. Uh, who cares what Chris told us to do? He's not our boss anymore. P A R T Y the all right, it seems like the stars have aligned for us, no? Okay, okay, Mr. okay. One last epic bonfire blowout for all time. Bro, yo, we're gonna get some oh, dude. Yes, I'm in, Nick. You're in. Yeah, I'm in. No, we're Dylan's get in, slaughtered. obviously. My man, Caitlin. I go where my people need me. Yeah, okay. M, what do you say? Mm. <laughs> yeah, I'm in. Mr. Hackett seemed pretty insistent we stay in the lodge. He was just trying to freak us out, you know? Like, um, like one of Ryan's stupid ghost stories. Why would he want to scare us? <laughs> he did seem freaked out. Just concerned. I'm sure he's just looking out for us. No big deal. All right, yeah. No, Party. I, I, I didn't mean. Dude. High five. Touch my hand, Ryan. <laughs> Yo, whoa, what are you standing like that, dude? Chill. I'm sorry. You made me promise. Dude, he won't even know. I don't know. No, no, no dude, we get it, all right? You don't want to disappoint daddy. <laughs> No, 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 go all on that, dude. He took, he took the gas. Yeah, well, someone's got to give. It all. You know what? <gasps> I don't even care what you guys do. Oh. I'm doing what Chris told no! me. To do. Ryan, come on, man. Wait. Nah, don't, don't wait. Just go inside, bro. If they die, it's on them. Wait. All right, all right, all right. Hacketeers, party planning committee. Let's do this. Um, okay. First things first. Nick and Abby. You go get some firewood. Uh, Emma and I will go to the stores for some supplies. And uh, Dylan, you just, I don't know, figure out how to charge the phones or something. All right, let's do this. Yo, we got a sniper at the house. Yo. He's gonna snipe someone. Oh, hell nah. This kid's covered in blood. Is he planning to kill us?
What are they doing, dude? season. <laughs> so here we are, stranded in the great American wild with nothing but our wits to guide us. Will humanity prevail or will we grow ravenous and resort to eating the flesh of the deceased like I saw in that one plane crash movie? Hm. First course, filet au Jacob. Rich and full bodied, this rare beefcake may leave wow. an irritating taste lingering on the palate. An acquired taste, some would say. Wow. What? Looks like you're trying to thread a needle with a packet of loose sausages. Oh my god, I'm almost done, okay? Jesus Christ. And for the record, your analogies are very hurtful. Okay, I'm almost there. Bro, it ain't that hard. Like, One second. I'll just tell you right now, yo. Yo, why don't you just kick the door? Yeah! Whoa! And scene. Oh, I mean, I could have kicked it. You listened it for me. Okay. So, if I were a beer, where would I be hiding? And that's why you got dumped. <laughs> beep, 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 beep. What beep, are you doing? Beep. Oh, <laughs> uh, it's my beer dar. Helps me dar for beers. Huh. How am I just noticing how super lame you are? What? But it, it's my beer dar, dude. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go over here. Wow, the kids really wiped this place out. Mr. H loved his accessories. I think it's locked. Don't know what I was expecting. <laughs> oh. Oh, hell yeah! <laughs> oh! Jackpot! Hey, uh... Check out my giant melons. Oh. See? You just cut a hole in it? Mm hmm You pour in your vodka. It's party time. You just, you pour the vodka right in it. Yeah. It's the most fun you could have with a hole in watermelon. Or, well, second most. Okay, I'm gonna leave you two alone and go look for some more party supplies. Bro, this dude is just like, I'm telling you, bro, like... Well, this is where I'm gonna end it here, so... If y'all enjoyed the video, like and subscribe, click the bell icon, and I'll see you next time.